Hi everybody. Just coming to you live for a couple of minutes. Um, I'm in the process right now of redecorating my middle bedroom. It's a New Year resolution of mine uh, to actually turn one, one of the rooms in my house into a yoga room. This is an orange by the way. I'm in the process of eating my lunch. Um, today, of course, is January the 2nd, it's the day after New Year's, and um, one of the resolutions was to commit myself to just getting fit, not necessarily losing weight, I know I probably should, and I hope to, um, the process of doing that now, and I'm just taking a break because I want to tell you guys about another resolution that I made for this year. Um, Again, I don't really like the term resolution, so I'll say a pledge. Um, this year, I decided that I will go green, basically. And what I'm going to do is for a whole entire year, I'm going to document um, my efforts to embrace this movement called the green movement. So, um, anyway... You know, the green or the environmental or the sustainable movement, whatever it's called, it has so many names. Um, basically what it does is it seeks to make people more environmentally conscious and aware of, of their impact on the world by making changes in how we produce things, how we market things, and most importantly, how we consume things. So... Um, I've been doing a lot of research about this. The, I guess the modern day movement is focused more on sustainability. Um, how can we maintain the level of comfort that we're all accustomed to, but doing so in a way that doesn't compromise the environment or contribute to the deterioration of the environment. So, um, excuse me. Mm. That's a good orange. Anyway, I recently saw An Inconvenient Truth uh, by Al Gore. And that, you know, is the movie that helped propel people to become more conscious about the environment. I don't know why and stuff, but um, I saw an even better one called Who, um, Who Killed the Electric Car, which got me thinking a lot as well. So... I've been noticing that all across the country that millions of people have embraced this movement, right? And they're buying hybrids and uh, planting and buying organic food and using solar uh, solar power panels and doing roofscaping. That's basically when they plant gardens on top of the roofs and stuff to make your house more energy efficient. And even using renewable sources like vegetable oil and all types of stuff to power their cars and stuff. So, um, it seems to be like this global change of doing things that make it so that we can still have the life that we're accustomed to, but doing it in a way that ensures that we'll be here in the future. And I kind of like that, um, that idea, because who wants to be extinct? Anyway, so millions of people are embracing this movement, and they're doing all these great, wonderful things. And I, I thought to myself, man, this is really amazing, and this is something that I want to be a part of. Um, but upon doing more research, you know, I, I saw that there's one thing that's really missing from the movement, and sorry to say, black folks is us. Um, if you Google search or whatever search on the internet, um, black folks, African Americans, color, Negro, whatever you want to call yourself. Um, if you Google search us in the green movement or sustainable movement, you find, you find very few results. Um, mostly there are articles about why as a uh, culture, as a race, we haven't been embracing the movement as we should and that kind of saddens me um mainly because when you 
think about these environmental problems um, and you think about those who are most affected by them, it tends to be people in poor and mostly minority or colored communities. Um, and by that, I mean, mm, excuse me, asthma rates, diabetes, um, forms of cancer, um, those type of things are a direct result of the changes that are happening in our environment and how we treat our environment. And poor people in those in working class communities and those in mostly black and Hispanic and Asian communities find themselves most affected by that. Um, and added to that is, you know, the lack of quality health care options and available doctors, which we know because of malpractice insurance and everything, um, that's not happening. Anyway, those, of course, are more social problems. But I believe that social problems are environmental problems as well. And that's really interesting. Your environment is more than just parks and wetlands and grass and clean rivers. Your environment is your overall physical surrounding. And that includes your neighborhood, your community, even your house. And if your physical surrounding is unhealthy, then your overall environment will be unhealthy as well. So, as I stated earlier, the Green Movement itself doesn't really have one standard definition. But from what I've been researching, um, I feel that in me developing my own definition, I feel that um, the Green Movement must focus on those things to make it more relevant to um, people of African American descent. And that includes Hispanic and Asians and everything. I just tend to look, um, lump everybody together. So, in doing this blog, I hope to kind of explore what it really means to go green and how exactly to do that. Because we all can't afford hybrid cars. Um, hell, I can barely afford the car I have right now. And find out... Um, some of the easy, easier things that we can do uh, to just kind of take care of our, our environment. And that means doing a holistic approach to it. So it's not just about doing things to make the earth better, but doing things to make our social condition better, as well as our physical body together. So um, again, I'm all new to this stuff, so I'm not an expert, but um, I hope that through this I can become an expert because I'm going to try some things out. I'm going to try to do some reviews of some products and stuff like that and uh, provide some tips, um, some things, show you some things that I'm trying to do um, in my own area, in my own physical surrounding right here um, and bring them to you. And if you guys have any suggestions, you can send them to me as well. And I hope more than anything that this that this video blog of mine will inspire others out there to do the same because let's face it like um no one's gonna do it for us so that's all I got to say I'm gonna finish eating my orange go back to work I'll ask you later peace <laughs>